Welcome back to Birding with Chris. Today we're at Santa Clara Valley Water District and we're trying to see the scaly breasted munia. According to Google, Santa Clara Valley Water District provides wholesale water supply and flood protection to the county of Santa Clara. So it's been about five minutes since we walked in. We've seen some mallards. We got a flyover by a snowy egret and some house finches. And hearing a lesser goldfinch, but about a minute ago, and currently, we are hearing the scaly breasted munia, which is really good. So I think we have a pretty good chance of at least seeing one or two. So yeah, we're gonna try to find it and take some videos of it. It may not be a bird, but it's still a really cool creature. As we approached this grassy area, we saw this turtle digging. This tree is a California pepper tree. It is very good for wildlife because it provides berries for the birds and shade for the water. At this location, we saw a double-crested cormorant drying its wings in a black-crowned night heron perched on a fence. Double-crested cormorants have a black body with orange skin at the base of their bill. They dive down underwater to catch fish. Double-crested cormorants can be found all over the U.S. Black-crowned night heron is a stocky bird that usually has its neck tucked in. Adults are usually pale gray and have a black cap and back with red eyes. So we've been here about half an hour and we have heard the scaly breasted munia, but we have not seen it. But on the bright side, we have seen a nice turtle, um, a double crested cormorant, which we got pretty good footage of, and a nice black crown night heron that we also got pretty good footage of. So we've seen lots of bird species, just not the one that we're looking for. So yeah. So I was taking my sling off, fixing my jacket, and we saw the three scaly breasted munias right behind us in the street. And I tried to get some footage, but it's not great. You can't really tell what it is. So at least we saw it. Scaly breasted munias have a mainly dark brown body with a fine scaly pattern on the sides and undersides of their body. As the range map describes, Scaly breasted munias are not naturally in any parts of the U.S. They are only introduced, but are found on many other parts of the country as vagrants. So this has been a very good trip to Santa Clara Valley Water District. I did not know this little oasis existed. So we saw the scaly breasted munia. Didn't get the greatest footage, but that's okay, because we also saw a belted kingfisher, which is a county bird for me and double crested cormorant, which was a good highlight. So yeah, this is the end of the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.